What's going on, everyone? So we got some coaching updates today, including one with Rajan Rondo. But let's get through the interview process and what Woj said, uh, as well as The Athletic. Uh, and then we'll touch on the Rondo side of things because I want to kind of dedicate a good section to that. So uh, we got, I guess, a little bit of conflicting reports. Uh, so per Woj, uh, the Lakers are still far away from their coaching search, right? So they're still in the process. Uh, they are interviewing James Borrego. Now, the, the thing is, is that, like, we got the reports the other day that said, essentially, that it's J.J. Redick, right, that they're planning on hiring J.J. Redick, and they're already kind of looking to do interviews for assistance to kind of round out the bench for J.J. Redick. Uh, James Borrego, Sam Cassell, and Jared Dudley were three names uh, that they were looking to add to the bench. So them interviewing James Borrego, I don't necessarily think that that's for a head coaching job. That very well could be like kind of test the waters on like, hey, what do you think about kind of coming onto the coaching staff? And the the logic behind it is kind of two ways, right? So one, the higher JJ Redick, they want to put like a really good coaching staff, really good structure around him so he can have the most success possible. Uh, obviously, that's something that they should have done with Darvin Ham. I think that that was originally, well, that was the original plan um, that they were going to get a a former head coach as an assistant, and then they kind of let Darvin Ham pick his own staff. Kind of looks like the Lakers are going to do that for JJ this time, kind of go through the interview process, try to round out the best bench possible uh, to pair with JJ. The other side of that is if JJ does, like let's say it doesn't work and it does start becoming a disaster, well then what the plan is, is that like if they have to fire JJ, well now you got James Borrego or Sam Cassell or potentially both that you can immediately just jump into the head coaching role and you don't miss a beat, right? Because two guys that they were very interested in, right? So still kind of seems like it's JJ Reddick's uh, job to lose. Um, even uh, The Athletic reported uh, today, which is why I said there's kind of these conflicting reports that JJ Reddick's uh, being a head coach for the Lakers is kind of gaining more and more traction. It's, and you're seeing that, right? Like I keep talking about, like there's just all this smoke. So to me, kind of just expect JJ Redick to be the head coach. And if it doesn't happen and somebody else steps in, then, you know, if you're against JJ, talked about how I'm not, I'm okay with it. As long as you kind of, again, have the right structure around him. But if you're somebody that is, is like, hey, I don't want JJ Redick, well, then maybe you'll be pleasantly surprised. We'll see, but I think at this point, the expectation is like, hey, JJ is going to be the head coach for the Los Angeles Lakers. I just, again, there just continues to be the smoke. Uh, and then even Woj reporting that the Lakers are still doing interviews, that they're still going through the process. One, that's due diligence. Two, again, if the report, the previous reports are true, they're doing interviews for assistance and to kind of help round out the bench. And another thing too, is the the far away like we're still a good ways away from actually hiring a head coach if they're going to hire JJ Redick they can't hire him till after the NBA finals so you're not going to get a report i mean you might get news right that, like the rumors that's like oh lakers are planning to hire JJ Redick in like a week or two but officially they won't be able to hire him till after the, the these playoffs are over the NBA finals. So that's also another thing that kind of leads me to believe like, okay, it makes sense that we're still a ways away and the Lakers are doing interviews, part of the due process, part of the due diligence, and also trying to round out the bench. But speaking of rounding out the bench, Rajon Rondo. So the LA Times uh, is reporting that Rajon Rondo is being considered uh, for part of the bench. Now, I've talked about the possibility. I know many of you in the comments have said, like, hey, you would love to see Rajon Rondo on that bench. He's a guy that, again, well-respected, is, is not somebody that just lays down, is not going to get ran over by players. He's a guy that is, has no problem getting into people's grill, getting into people's face. I mean, there was uh, the, the like Rondo reminiscent boxing <laughs> uh, Ray Allen or something like that. Like, So he's a guy that you know, it could be that kind of like, you know, kind of what Jason Kidd was for us back in 2020. Um, and also Rondo in 2020, but we'll touch on that in a second. But Jason, Jason Kidd was that well-respected basketball mind um, that many people thought could be a head coach. I mean, he was prior, but kind of had, you know, some off-court stuff that prevented that, came to be an assistant. They thought he could, you know, 
potentially be one of the better head coaches in this league at some point. Look at what he's doing now. But it was more so of the basketball mind on top of, like, he's well-respected. He's not going to take nonsense. He's a guy that can challenge LeBron. He's a guy that can challenge Anthony Davis. He's a guy that can kind of keep the, the ducks in a row, right? And that's something that Rajon Rondo could potentially do as well, right? He's a guy that excellent basketball mind, gives you another kind of brain trust uh, within the organization that can kind of, you know, help see things and and perspectives. Uh, In the 2020 season, Rajon Rondo and LeBron both talked about how like, man, their, their two minds, I mean, are some of the best ever, right? And you're talking about two guys that they weren't going after the players. They were going after the coaches, right? You heard, right? Hey, if we play Miami, you got the coach. If we play Boston, I got the coach, right? It was this whole like, you know, uh, just entire breakdown of like, not just, hey, we're going to beat the players and we're going to outsmart the players. No, we're going to outsmart the coaches. So again, to have just that, the attitude and the personality and stuff like that, I just think would go a long way with um, the Lakers. And it's something that personally, I would be very welcomed. I'm curious to see if that's kind of a, like, if that's a priority in the sense of like, is that something where it's like, hey, we we prefer Jared Dudley, right? Because again, he has experience. He wasn't on the bench in 2020, right? He was on the actual roster, but he might as well have been on the bench in 2020, right? Like he was, he was that in-between guy. He was the extension, right? You knew as soon as he retires, that's it. He's going into coaching somewhere and boom, immediately he does. So the idea is to bring in Jared Dudley. My question is like, okay, let's say, let's say everything plays out perfectly, right? Let's say they go and they get JJ Redick. And they're able to bring in a Sam Cassell or James Borrego. I don't know if they'd be able to bring in both, right? The idea is like you bring in both. I don't know if they'd be able to bring in both because then now both, like, they both want to be head coaches. So now they got to, like, both be, like, lead and second lead assist. Like, I just think that that could, you could end up having too many cooks in the kitchen, so to speak. So to me, I think one of them comes, right? Pick, you know, let me know in the comments which you'd prefer as the lead assistant. But let's say James Borrego just, Keep it simple, right? So now you got James Rago. The idea is to bring in Jared Dudley. And then I think you bring back a Phil Handy if possible, right? Phil Handy was let go so he could go explore uh, more opportunity. But if that doesn't line up, bring him back to the Lakers. And now you have that, right? You look at like the 2020 bench. It was Jason Kidd. You had, or, uh, you had Frank Vogel, Lionel Hollins, Jason Kidd, Phil Handy. I mean, you just had this the Avengers of head co- of coaching on the bench. I would love to see something like that very similar. We have like a J.J. Redick. Again, a lot of questions about him as a head coach, but it's the, the rest of the best bench along the way. And if J.J. Redick can be what we believe he can be, then you got J.J. Redick, you got, say, uh, James Borrego, Jared Dudley, and then um, – Phil Handy, maybe you're bringing in Rajon Rondo to kind of round out the bench. Or if you can't get Jared Dudley, because again, Dallas having success, when champion, they could potentially win a championship, right? So it's like, can you pry him away? If you can't, okay, then Rondo can slide in. So now you got um, JJ, you got Borrego, you got Rondo, and you got Phil Handy. That to me, I think would be great. Cause now you got all these different brain trusts. You got a guy in a James Borrego who's actually had some head coaching experience, right? So now you have, you know, your your the guy that you're highest on that you believe has the biggest upside and potential, right? You got kind of the the glue guy and the balance guy that can kind of help keep everything together, kind of help guide JJ through the process. Also, if JJ stumbles, well, he can just step in and take over be the head coach if necessary. And then you have, um, you know, Rajon Rondo and his basketball mind. He's well-respected by LeBron. He's somebody that can challenge LeBron. Did it in the 2020 season. He's somebody that can challenge Anthony Davis and these various players, has relationships with these players, particularly the the main guys and LeBron and uh, AD, right? That's important. So I just think that that would be really nice. And then again, if you can bring in a Phil Handy, that would be great. If you can't bring in a Phil Handy, maybe you are bringing in Rondo. Like, let's say you do bring in Jared Dudley still. Maybe you are still bringing in Rondo and Dudley and Rondo could kind of be the the player coaches and the development guys and kind of help give different perspectives uh, to these players, kind of help well round out these guys. I just really like that idea on the bench. Um, Look, I've said it before. I would love to see Rondo on the bench 
Um, you know, I know a lot of people, and I do think that there is an argument for him kind of being the head coach over even a J.J. Redick. I just think that a lot of the off-court stuff, it's kind of the reason with Jason Kidd, right? It's like, you know, there's a lot of talk and a lot of reasons for the Lakers to hire Jason Kidd as the head coach. But then, you know, they hired Vogel and just brought him in on the staff because a lot of like the off-court stuff where it's like, you know, all that stuff's going to come to light right now to where if you bring Rondo to the end of the bench, a lot of that stuff isn't going to be brought. A lot of that stuff, and even if it is not really, I mean, again, he's at the end of the bench where he's not like the main guy to where people are going to heavily focus on that stuff. And then, you know, at some point he can kind of move in. And then as you saw with JJ, uh, with uh, Jason Kidd, eventually that stuff just, becomes, you know, an afterthought, and then he's able to move back in a head coaching position. Rondo can potentially move his way up the rankings. Say James Borrego ends up uh, going to get a head coaching job in a year or two, whatever. You know, now you can maybe move Rondo to the lead assistant. Now you got JJ and Rondo. I mean, even just to have them as like your two brain trusts for the foreseeable future, I just think would be excellent. Um, Two excellent basketball minds, two guys that are good at the X's and O's, two guys that are respected in the league, will demand respect from both LeBron and Anthony Davis, have relationships with these guys. It's kind of what you want to see, right? Both are still very young by coaching standards. So, I mean, if it works, you could have these guys for next 20 years, which would be incredible. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Best question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Uh, you still think JJ is going to be the main guy? What are your thoughts on Rajon Rondo? Are you excited for Rajon Rondo? Uh, again, how do you feel? Whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. It helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.